Good morning, good people. This is Father Earl Befford. I am speaking to you from our friary here in Victoria, Kansas. So I'm sure you're aware that church has been blessed with many, many wonderful saints, uh, hundreds and really thousands of them, many of them you pop out even to where existed. The Capuchin Order as well has been has been blessed also by by blessed and saints, both men and women who lived heroic lives and achieved sanctity by the way they lived their lives. Today we are celebrating one of those Capuchin saints, St. Fidelis. He is the patron of our friary and also the patron of the, of the Basilica Saint, of St. Saint Fidelis here next to us. It is, by the way, the only basilica in Kansas. It's a beautiful, beautiful church. And St. Fidelis was born in Germany in the early part of the, or the latter part of the 16th century. He was ordained a priest, and then after one year of priesthood, he became a Capuchin friar. He was well known for his defense of the faith, a, 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 a tremendous effort in his life to, to continue the faith and spread the faith faithfully throughout, throughout Europe. On one such occasion, he was in Switzerland trying to... Uh, Returned fallen away Catholics and Catholics back to the church, and he was confronted by a group of Calvinists, and they were very upset that he was there trying to convert people, and so he was he was attacked by them, and ultimately he was martyred. Uh, in the in the Basilica of Saint Fidelis, there's a there's a beautiful drawing above the main altar, which depicts the martyrdom of Saint Fidelis. A powerful image showing him being him being uh, killed by these by these men. As he was dying, or he was hit to have said, "I am not afraid of death. I defend the truth that was defended by the martyrs." My friends, we were all called to sanctity. We we're all called to be saints. Perhaps, and certainly not perhaps to be martyrs, but in many ways, there are small martyrs in their own life the way we live our lives, and at times are called upon to be defenders of the faith, especially in today's very secularistic society, where faith and trust and belief in God are often very seriously questioned. So today, as we think about St. Fidelis and all the wonderful saints of the Church and the saints of our order, we are recall, we want to recall that they are models for us, and we hope that, like they, like them, we can be true true witnesses to the faith throughout the world. So thank you for listening. Have a great morning. Uh, Pray for us, and we'll pray for you. And so peace, and, and God bless you.